4 divided by 1 half. Now there's many different models we could use to look at this. So let's take a look at at least one of them and try the measurement model. Now the measurement model is going to come in when we're trying to measure out groups of this size. So I've got four whole units. And so as I draw out my four whole units, I'm going to want to now make groups that are this big, groups of one half. So what happens is it's really a good idea to break these each into one half unit sizes. Now what this is going to allow me to do is it's going to allow me to count. So that's one. There's two, three, four. Here's five, six, seven, and eight. So what I end up with is, I end up with eight. Now the reason I have eight is I have eight groups of one half equals four total units.